fellowship and love. Nothing, nothing is unobtainable. And today we unite for a greater good, for a brighter future for our state. We will come together. We will unite. We will celebrate and support one another because we have the people's business at hand, saving Washington State and making Washington State great again. And let me make this very clear. I praise the leadership of our chairman, Jim Walsh, for the fine job he did yesterday, today, tomorrow, and beyond. Oh. They do not know what's coming, but what's coming is unity and a power they have never seen when the grassroots truly comes together in love and compassion for one another. So I say to you right now, be strong and courageous, be not afraid, be not dismayed. For your Lord God is with you now as he was in 1776 when our founding fathers dared to declare their independence from tyranny from the British Empire. They did not win simply because of a thought they won from passion, a passion for freedom and liberty of a greater nation where all men were declared equal and endowed by their creator to certain unalienable rights, which among them were life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And as a man that stands before you today, born in the inner city ghetto in East Oakland, California, 1961, without civil rights, and no, that is not a race car, that is a fact. To a single woman with seven children, my mother raised me never to be a victim. God made us all different. God made us all beautiful. I and I'm a proud American. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, we must understand that we go through life much the same, but differently. We all have struggles. We all find ourselves on the wrong side, doing the wrong thing. I certainly have. And now all of you know that to be true. And for that motion that was on the floor, I speak to it to say I have a misdemeanor. I have sinned. I was born into sin, and I did sin in 1993. I used my father's credit to get a credit line of $1,800, and that was wrong. I was bitter. My father was an alcoholic, and yes, he abused. No excuse for what I did. I take full accountability, and I say it again now. If you want me to disclose, I will disclose and I will lean into all of my life and I will own all of my life because God has given me everything in my life. God bless you. Oh. But let me say, let me say, as I look down and I, I, I hold back tears of joy and gratefulness to our, our God, my wife and my youngest child sit there with me. God gave me my wife and the Seattle Times asked me something changed because in the 90s, you had some problems, son. I had that son part. <laughs> and yes, I did. And God gave me my wife and that gift. And she changed my life. And yes, my life changed. And I, I saw the light once again. And I stayed on that path of righteousness. And I came back to serve my nation as I did in 1978 when I stepped on those yellow footsteps, Marines. Hoorah! And I did my two terms in the Marine Corps, always a Marine. And we went back to serve. After 9-11, I volunteered to serve as a Special Forces Green Beret, and at age 43, I accepted the Green Beret, and I went to war on a Special Forces A team, and I served with honor. I received the Bronze Star Valor, the Purple Heart Meritorious Service Medal. God gave me life once again. I served my country with valor and dignity and heroism, and I am proud for the man that I am in service of the greatest nation on the planet.
understand something. If you want me to apologize for falling, if you want me to apologize for making mistakes in life, I will apologize. I will take ownership. But I will not live in shame for the rest of my life for the sins of my past. And nor should any of you or anyone else in this world. We must be better. And we as Republicans, as true constitutional Christian conservatives as I am, we lift one another up out of poverty and despair. We elevate one and all and we say, we will give you a home. We will give you a home right here in the Republican Party, the party of abolition, the party that ended slavery, the party of women's rights, the party of civil rights, and the party of parents' rights. Come home to the Republican Party. We welcome you now. Come to us. And let me close. I know we're grace. We're giving grace on time. God bless you. Thank you, brother. My friends, there is a new future, a bright and a better future. And the winds of change are blowing. And God calls us broken and bended, all kinds, all colors. That is America. That is what America has always been meant to be. When you hear that word diversity, you lean into it and you own it. And you said, that's right. Asian American, black American, Hispanic American, white American. We're all Americans. It does not matter. That is America. That is who we are. That is our heritage. And we own it. We are brothers and sisters under that flag. And we only need one flag to represent who we are. And that is our flag. That is our flag. And if you want one thing to know about me, know this, if I was willing to die for that flag once, I will do it again. But now here we are in our own state. This is the time for us to get active. This is the time for us to unite, to come together. As scripture would say, Colossians 3.12. As God's chosen and holy people, clothe yourself in kindness, compassion, gentleness, humility, and grace. This is how we win. Bob Ferguson is not the boogeyman. He is not the boogeyman. And I am not afraid of man. I serve one. I know my chain of command. But together, <laughs> together, safe streets, better schools, common sense, energy independence, building upon those amazing initiatives so that we will bring back support for our men and women in uniform law enforcement and holding those judges and those prosecutors accountable no more revolving doors no more lawlessness in washington state we will bring quality education under article 9 we have a plan for all things right and righteousness I signed the pledge with Moms for Liberty on the steps of the Capitol a year and a half ago when I announced I am a member of Moms for Liberty Proud. I stood on the school board. I brought forward a policy and I said, we will teach civics in our schools. We will not teach critical race theory in our schools. And that policy passed. That policy passed. And let me say this. When it came to masking and those mandates, a mandate is not a law. A mandate is not a law. And we passed a policy, myself and two brave school board members, powerful, strong women, Carrie Williams and Audra Bird together. We said, no, we believe in choice for those mothers and those fathers and those families not to mask your children if you do not want to mask your children. Choice. Choice. Let parents parent, let children be children. We support parents' rights as the primary stakeholders in their children's education and as the primary stakeholders in the upbringing of their children. My friends, common sense is common sense. There's nothing extreme about what we believe in. Climate change is something that hurts us all. No, we are not the party of cap and trade, and we will never be the party of cap and trade. So we have three initiatives on the ballot that we will all support and we will vote for. We will not support this capital gains. We're going to get rid of that CARES Act. We're going to get rid of the cap and gain, uh, capital gains tax. 
and we're going to lower taxes in Washington state because we are tax and spend and that nonsense goes away. So let me say this. I got to close. I've got to close. But on day one, a couple things are going to happen. Maybe three or more. Number one. We're going to call for a third party audit of all state programs, all state offices, so we know where the money is going and accountability and transparency of our government. Number two, Washington state under my administration will no longer be a sanctuary state. No more. No more. No more. Hmm. And number three, we will proclaim, we will proclaim from the highest of office that those who put the badge on every day will be loved, supported, and values as they go out to protect and to defend, to protect and to serve their communities. We will honor them. We will honor our families and we will transform Washington state. We will make America great again in November and we will give Olympia the bird. God bless you. God bless Washington state. Thank you so much. Thank you. Jim, thank you, brother. Thank you.